Hey guys, welcome to today's edition of At Burner Brothers. Uh, we're starting here in Donaldsville. Uh, Silka's already got it got it going up here. This is a Saturday morning. We got a, a half staff here today. These guys are rocking it out. Lucas and Joe over here getting the, the Monday sale inventory in, uh, catalog uploaded, merged and all. Uh, we're gonna have an adventure today. We're gonna be out at the Antique Center in just a few minutes. So uh, join us, welcome, and let's go. Well, this morning we are photoing again. Yeah, so you're sitting in mammals photos here. Oh, she doesn't work Saturdays. So. No, she doesn't work Saturdays. Okay. I don't think she'll mind. All right, cool. Good deal. And you're getting all this photo for the uh, Monday sale, right? Yep. Uh, all right. So over here stacking silver. I'm not sure what he's got going on. Uh, what do you, coins. Coins or silver coins? They're all silver rounds, right? What are those? Presidents? Gold right now. Oh, that one's a gold one? Yep. Okay. So he's inventorying a catalog and a gold coin for you guys. And uh, yeah, getting it done here on Saturday. This will go on Monday sale, uh, on the Monday 500 lot sale here at burners.com. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we made it out here to the heart of Ohio now. Um, so I just got out here. It's starting to pick up. It's early in the morning still. It's before 11. Uh, I guess it's not real early, but it's uh, still early on a Saturday. Uh, there's quite a few people here. The parking lot's filling up. We have a pretty good crowd at the doors just walking in. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. We're going to get some sold bins in. Uh, and then I want you to keep commenting on what you want me to show you here at the heart of Ohio. Because we have, I mean, there's thousands of categories of collections. And I, w I wouldn't mind uh, kind of focusing in and doing some uh, collection tours uh, here at the heart. So I'd love to hear what you're interested in seeing in more in detail. And I'll try and film some of that. But today we have got to get some work done in the back getting ready for the auction uh getting before ready for a move to come out here so we're bringing our auction business back out here to the heart uh i'll get some sold bins in and i'll just keep you informed on what's happening lucas and joe are going to be out here after a bit and uh, we're gonna get some work done so uh yeah this thing that happened last night here yeah. at the antique center mm -hmm. i heard it it's kind of scared you a little bit oh the doll <laughs> or oh so this morning i walk in and andy's like i have something to show you or do you want to see something and i go in and 7 30 when no one's here the chain drops and there was this creepy doll last night that was here and i felt bad and i touched it and i felt bad so i made a little bed for it because i felt bad <laughs> so i was like oh gosh i can't do it anymore okay so this chain right here if you guys are watching our screen um this is this is a video screen Let me back up here see this video screen this is our surveillance one of our cameras we have i don't know like 100 cameras or 150 cameras in this mall um, but this is last night at seven no this morning at 7 29 or 7 30 this morning uh, and this is what grace was talking about she was like that oh there it went the chain just snapped in half out of nowhere uh, so grace was holding this doll up yesterday and the head just kind of went sideways and then she felt bad about it and so she came in here and she made this doll little bed last night just making fun with it because the head was sideways because somebody, somebody's buying the doll uh they made an offer on it or something i'm not sure what's going on with the doll so Grace came in here and made this nice little bed and put the hearts on it and things like that. Uh, we went and we looked at the doll. So yeah. tell us the story. What happened with the doll? Uh, so a woman wanted the doll and it had no price. So we were looking to get it called on. And so I pick up the doll and it just goes, like his head just <laughs> drops. I'm like, oh no. And she's like, oh, it does that. I'm like, oh, okay. And I just, I feel horrible. It's just, it looks so sad. And so I made a little blanket for it and a pillow and I just kind of tucked it in because I felt bad that I even touched it. So I just had to make sure it knew that I was like, okay. I, <laughs> after the, the video, I was like, you know, maybe there's a connection. Maybe, I, I don't know. It just, ooh. Oh, haunting at the heart. Gosh. Oh, you so here is the piece of chain that broke. So we're, we now have the culprit. This piece of chain right here is the piece that broke. Uh, you gonna keep that? No, it looks like little doll teeth took a bite out of that. A little, so doll, little teeth, doll, teeth. doll teeth took a bite out of that. Okay, I see what she's saying. She's usually, that doll got up, took a bite out of the chain. That's so funny. Oh gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> hey guys, this is going out the door right now. Just sold. This is a tri triple mirror. It's a full size stand up mirror. Uh, it's oak. This is the back side of it. But uh, that's pretty cool. What do you, you guys know what you're going to use it for? In the bathroom? What are, you gonna, what are you gonna do with it? Dressing room. Yeah. Dressing room. Okay. So it's going to be a part of a dressing room. Um, and Damien is here helping him uh, disassemble this last piece. Probably doesn't fold flat, does it? Yeah, right. And it's uh, yeah. It's just too, a little bit too big for the back of my pickup truck. So yeah. So okay. We're gonna we're going put it just in take there. it apart and put it in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Well, if you guys need anything else, just holler and, and Damien will take care of you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. He's done a great job. We appreciate his help. Yeah, he's awesome. I'll grab some salt bins while I'm back here, guys. Let's check some out. We got this item here. It's kind of a Murata style piece here. Uh, priced at $45 on the glass, sold. And a Lakes Butter, and that's got the, uh, yeah, the, the old old style uh, scene still on it. That one's $20. 
The cow and candlesticks, these are really cool. Uh, art pottery cow on a sign, $55. Then you have the candle wick bowls that are 20 and 25 a piece. This is an interesting November Angel. I'm not sure. These are probably Japanese, probably Napco or whatever. Yep, Napco, $28 on the Napco figurine. November Angel sold. And then the same booth is a $34 uh, bird figurine. Japanese ceramics have really picked up. Check out the Clydesdale. That's probably a briar. That one's $28 uh, on the big guy here. And then let's see the next one here is priced out at $44. Those are gorgeous Clydesdales. Well, these are fun. Getting two of these out of this showcase, out of this booth. Let's see how much these are priced at. Uh, I love the stenciling on that one. That's got wonderful stenciling. $25 on the billows, and those are early. I mean, look at the form on the handle on that. That's such a great buy for $25. Uh, this billows here is priced out, let's see the price, at $50. Nice big set, uh, a lot bigger than the other. Honestly, I love that form on the handle on this small one. I don't know, which one do you guys like better? I don't know which one would be more interesting, the one with the round here uh, or the de de decoration with the flowers, the stencil decorated one. Same booth though, they also have a sewing clamp. Uh, somebody's buying some nice early items here, $59 on the sewing clamp. Oh, popular Pabst Blue Ribbon beer sign sold $295, that's so cool. I think there was an offer, actually an offer put in for two and a quarter and they said yes to the offer. So that one sold for 225. A big Limoges charger. Um, see who made that. Yeah, France Limoges. Price is $69.95. It's artist signed fruit scene on the charger, $69.95. Somebody's buying a lot of glassware. There's fairy lamps, there's Fenton, there's carnival glass. Uh, let's see if we can figure a few prices. $45 on the Fenton bird, $10 on the crystal candlestick. The punch cups are $18 for two of them. Uh, here's a Moroccan mushroom for $9.99, a Fenton Morgan uh, Marigold, I'm sorry, bowl for $34. And then the amber, looks like a Tierra piece back here for $9. Uh, so up over here to the side, here, this one here's got the silhouettes on the front of it. That one's $19.95. Really cool grouping here of glass. Man, that is wild. It's $60, it's Christina is signed the spinning top vase. I have never had a spinning top vase. It's actually made in the form of a top. So I don't know how you would display it. I guess leave it on the side. Uh, that's fun. $60, $60 sold. $28.50 on the Indiana covered covered glass piece. Here's another piece Fenton signed. $15 on, that's a great buy. $15 on the Fenton Bell. And then right over here is a Fenton basket. And this one's gonna glow. Um, S17, this one is priced at $45 sold. There's a Holly Hobby lunchbox. How much has that one got on it? I remember these. Um, we were kids, everybody had lunchboxes. $20 sold. There's a cool cane. That one's priced at $49. An interesting handle, but look at that, how it turns all the way down. Sold. Tiger Maple uh, cutting board. That has got great color. This one's priced at $125. Sold. So we're back over here where Mike is. We're gonna check in on him and see how he's doing today. He's now he's now working Mike here. He came out here to relax on a Saturday. He's out here. He's serving customers instead. I love it. Hey, have you dropped your first dish yet? Uh, no, but this might probably be the one. Right this would be the one right here, huh? There you go, Mike. Mike is getting the steps in now. He's delivering away. Hey, we got Mike. We got Mike working. <laughs> Radio here, vintage piece, getting priced and put out on the floor. That's what it's going to be. Seventy-five dollars. Just going to be back in the uh, in the showroom area that we just got rebuilt. So we, uh, yeah, we brought this one from that, that warehouse I was showing you guys yesterday. This was in the office down there. So we're gonna put it out here on the floor for sale. What? That's a, it's a we, it's, it's not a you guys, it's a we. <laughs> hey, we're walking back here to building, uh, to building six back here to the uh, room. We're gonna put this radio out here. That's cool. And we got, we got Brenny helping. She's just guiding the whole wagon here. So yeah, let's go find a good spot for this radio. Okay, so here is our TV is sitting back here in building six. We'll see if somebody's interested in this. We just put fresh batteries in it. I have no idea if somebody's gonna buy it, but uh, Mike brought it in from that machine shop I showed you earlier in the video. And uh, yeah, that's what we have going on. And Brenny is back here. She got called up. She started getting pet. So yeah, she's the center of attention right now. Man, guys, I just gotta say, this is a, a crazy crowd today. We are parked way out into the gravel. All the lot, all the way down is full on both sides. 
I know, earlier was like, what's going on? This isn't extravaganza. And I said, I know, it's a great day though. It's been cold and, and bad weather. I think it's just a day everybody's wanting to get out and do some shopping. So uh, yeah, it's a fun day here at the heart. Let's go back in and see what else we can find. Okay, this just sold for uh, $285. Absolute stunning watercolor. Probably circa 1830, 1830-ish, what do you think? Somewhere near uh, 1830-ish. Uh, wonderful color, look at the detailing. And what I love about it, it's got this wonderful period frame. The glass is all like a glazed, uh, wavy glass. Uh, old back on it. Just a really great piece, a little miniature portrait. Sold 285. This truck is absolutely cool. Check it out, all old paint. Buddy L, aerial truck, uh, $4.99 is the price tag on it. They'll get 10% off, but that's, that is so cool. Just sold. Here is an old print. Um, it's by Catlin, I think, and this one just sold for, I believe, $60. This is interesting. It just sold for $165. Uh, it's got all kind of writing on it. A pair of glass candlesticks just sold for $18.99. Coca-Cola Crate, uh, what was that, $42 ring somewhere in there? Yeah, $42 on that one. So they'll get a little 10% off that. Anything over $40, our customers get 10% off, so that's really $38. Here's an interesting group selling down here. So there's some Wedgwood up front. Let's see what the prices are. Um, first piece here is $80 on the, the, what is that, the salt color. And then the green and white piece here at $24. There's a $90 Fenton Burmese face back there, hand painted. Uh, the real big price in the back is 95. That's Weller. That's really cool. Uh, this one here is $25 on the Fenton basket. Boy, Fenton has just really picked up a lot of steam in the past couple of months. Another Fenton piece over here for $30. Ah, uh, what a pattern on that cut glass bowl. $135 is the price on it. Uh, it's so cool. It was uh, sold at $108 uh, is the sell price. One of the nice bucket just sold for $40. bucks. has been repainted, but it's got a good look to it. Here's a really interesting 19th century French Victorian uh, tilt top table. This is a big piece. It's probably, I don't know, what, a 40 inch top or better. Uh, look at the carving on the base. It's just sold out for $450, and that's a bargain. Brass casters, uh, walnut, absolutely stunning tilt top table, sold for $450. So we have a lot of folks here today. Our staff has been rocking here. It's a busy day. It's a busy, busy Saturday. Uh, I would almost say today we've had as many people come through during an extravaganza day out of nowhere. So that's really cool. But it's been really bad weather, like I said earlier. And I think it's it's been people have been just locked up for a few weeks. And uh, it's just time. Today's the day they get out. So it's really fun to watch it. Uh, I'm down here. I'm going to catch a couple more people stocking some booths. So let's see what they got. Okay, we're at booth 1250. He's getting some restock done. But, man, there's some bargains here. Look at there. $28 old paint on the cast iron bank bronze goose for $44 that's a bargain just a lot of interesting items all of these trucks are $22 each for the most a couple of them don't have prices on them yet don't forget to price them boy those are good buys $15 each down here on the NASCAR stuff uh, just freshly stocked right now uh, check it out two showcases full all fresh merchandise coming in the buildings uh, he's been selling a lot of stuff and a lot of it's going back out today so uh, yeah come come have a look I like the car. That's cool. Check it out. This is an stunning cloisonne. That's probably Japanese. Absolutely stunning enamel work. Um, offer was submitted for 500, uh, what do we got here? $500 for two pieces. Um, if I'm reading that right. No, they offered 450 and they countered back at 500. So this might be sold. We're gonna see if the customer's gonna take it. Sold at 500 if they do. It's a fun little set, $29, got the bowl and the spoon in there. Um, oh, it's sold separately. The spoon is $29, the bowl is $32. They're too, you're too short to put them up there or what? No. Oh, you want me to film them first? Okay, these are cool. $135 on the pair. They're painted Griffin candle stands. They look like bronze. Yeah, I think those are bronze. Uh, that's a good buy for $135. Bucks for the Wedgwood Cobalt Blue Color Pitcher, 20 bucks. Sold. Booth, the covered wedge wood box for $20. Nice scene on the top. 20 bucks sold. Hey, it's big boy time. What are these selling for? They haven't sold one in a while. I haven't seen them sell. Uh, 12 bucks on this guy on the Frisch's Big Boy Bank. He's a rubber guy. Wizard with the red globe just sold $39. This 
is fun. Booth 1106 sold this one, $14.99. Nice young lady, uh, got her someone to get her in the case. She's having fun shopping. Sold. Fire King Jadeite Bowl just sold for $45. Hey guys, interesting development out of nowhere. Uh, Pat just showed up. So I got to go out here to my car because I've got some of her cards I was going to drop off to her tonight. But she came here. She didn't even know I was coming tonight. So cool. Let me grab these cards. We're going to go talk to Miss Pat. All right, guys. I told you we had a special guest. Miss Pat just showed up out of nowhere. Um, so Pat is wanting to get envelopes uh, because she's been writing letters. So I've got some envelopes here for Pat. So if you see an envelope coming that says the Heart of Ohio Antique Center on it, Miss Pat's wanting to write some letters. So uh -huh. here's your whole stack. Oh, that's Pat. perfect. And look, you got more mail. Oh, <laughs> These are all for you. <laughs> for heaven's sake. This is cool. Look at this though. Uh, Dallas, a, Dallas, Texas. Texas. Yeah, this one here is from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. My gosh. Uh, this one, Fairborn, Ohio. That was dropped off in person. Somebody it's brought that one. one. Okay. This one here is from Illinois, Missouri. Uh, this one's from New Carlisle, Gosh. and then this one's from Maryland. And so these are all more letters to you. <laughs> oh, well, when they write them there, I I want to write them and tell them thank you because I, I, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Well, so Miss Pat came out to the Antique Center to see us and uh, get some envelopes. I told mm -hmm. her, I said, listen, you can't, you know, give out your address to anybody. I don't want, you know, we don't want anything mm -hmm. to happen. So... Uh, she's going to use our envelopes to write you guys back. So she's actually uh, starting to write some letters. And I had a guest here last week that is a YouTube person, and they've watched you on YouTube. Uh -huh. uh, this is from uh, Mike Well Swung. He was actually out here, and we talked with him, did an interview, had some fun. Uh, he came out with Kate, and uh, he made this bracelet out of old dice. And he said he wants you to have this. And he named it. Uh, it's called, what is this one called? It says, Made by Mike on one side. And then Mr. Allen is the is his name. Well, from heaven. So this sake. is for you as well. Oh, how nice! That's lovely. Isn't that lovely? Oh yes. So uh, that matches yep. me today. It does. It actually it fits right with your outfit today. Check her out. Miss Pat is looking dapper today. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you do? what are you out doing? Just messing around? Yes, I thought I'd come out and get a bite to eat. Do something to eat? Okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? There's a lot of people here today. Oh, yeah. Parking lot's packed. Really, it's the weather is against the weather. Yeah, they, they don't can't work outside, so they well, gotta travel on the inside. And that's what I said earlier today. I feel like we had a lot of people um, that came because it's been slower the last couple of weeks than normal, but it's been so cold. Like we were down yeah, to like five and ten. Five. Oh, it was so cold, so cold. Mm -hmm. But uh, today, I feel like there's just a lot of people out, and um, yeah, and so these cards are starting to show up. They're coming in. They're saying that I've even had this question. We're, we're going to do a meet and greet here in April, where we have uh, a lot of our friends from YouTube that, that, are, that do YouTube channels come uh -huh. and just talk to uh, whoever wants to show up, talk to them. Uh -huh. And everybody keeps saying, "Is Miss Pat going to be at the meet and greet? Will Miss Pat come and say hi to people?" Well, so, sure, I'd love to. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. So in April. What is the date? Um, I'm sorry, and when is that going to be? It's going to be around April 20th. It's not a hard date yet, but for you guys out there listening, we think it's going to be the April 20th. That's sad. I think that's a Saturday, April 20th. Uh, let me double check the calendar real quick, Pat. Uh, we're waiting on one final uh, yes or no. Uh, yeah, April 20th is what we're looking at. So we think that's going to be the 20th. Um, but Miss Pat has said, yeah, she would, she would absolutely come out. So what we're looking at is having uh, Crazy Lamp Lady out, which is the one you gave the coat to, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then, uh, and then, I bet she's and then, more. Well, Kate, and then Kate and I that we went and did all the you know the whole Christmas cat thing with. Uh -huh. uh, she's going to be there, and then there's some others that are that we're hoping that are going to come. We're hoping to have Dagny and George, and uh, we're not sure who else is going to be a, a part of it. But Josh will be here. You'll be here. Um, I'm going to get. What get was the Lucas. date again? Uh, we're looking at April the 20th. So uh, that that's our initial date. It's not set in stone. Okay, all right. But as soon as we get it set in stone, I'll let you know. Okay. And we're going to set up like a tent out back and have, um, you know, in our new commons area. And just, just we'll have a table there where you can, you can come say hi to Miss Pat. And, uh, well, I'd like that. That'd be fun, that'd wouldn't fun. it? Yeah. That'd be fun. And then we'll have, Mom take, I think Mom and Dad might be there. Oh, so, that'd be nice. Yeah, well, you and Mom hang out too and talk. Yeah. And, no, it's been so fun though. Um, so Miss Pat's stomping grounds here at the Antique Center. She's I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> well, you've came here since its existence. You know, since the place opened up, you've been a, a, a buyer and, then, and working and here. And I worked for Burner's Auction when yeah. you had the auction in the back. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun times, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's been... yeah, yeah. Well, see, I never got a paycheck. 
I know, you always spend because, it. Because I always spend it. <laughs> Pat work all week, and the end of the day, we'd say, here, Pat, well, this is what you owe this week. Yeah, that, when I would uh, cancel my checkbook, it would be burner's auction. Burner's That's auction. So funny. Burner's auction. That's so funny. Well, there's been, uh, there's been a ton of people asking about you all the time. Uh, every time I do anything on YouTube or whatnot or any of the platforms, uh, they're Miss always asking, Miss. how's Miss Pat? How's Miss Pat? When are we going to see Miss Pat? That's they all want to hear more stories from Miss Pat, antique stories. Tell us how it's about collecting and all this yeah, other stuff. That's so. right. That's true. Yeah. And there's a lot of stories with that, with that, uh, especially with the jewelry. Yeah, the jewelry. That's your favorite thing to collect, yeah, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, the jewelry. Yeah, and then I have the, a lot of glassware, which you didn't even see that is in boxes. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, you've got she's got she's got mountains of glass work. put away <laughs> it's so fun though what but guys for all of you that have written miss pat uh again both of us say thank you guys so much these cards are they mean a lot to her and having them i mean there's a whole nother slew that came in we've already dropped a big group off um and we had to actually she came to get envelopes to mail mail thank yous back because she wants to write everybody back yeah, if you have you. not wrote Miss Pat and you want to, uh, just give her some kind words since she's uh, sharing her house with us and just having fun with you guys. Uh, send it send it here to the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Uh, here is the address right here. There's the address to the Heart of Ohio, uh, 4785 East National Road, Springfield, Ohio, uh, 45505. Uh, if you want to mail Miss Pat a letter, just put Miss Pat on the front of it. Um, and then th they will get sent here. So, so here's what somebody did there. there there's what I'm talking about. Just send something like that. Um, that. Don't don't tell us the date. But I get this question asked to me the exact day. I don't want to know the day. But Pat, what month is your birthday in? May. In May. Okay. I've had that question asked to me like 50 times. When is Pat's okay, 93 birthday? 93 in May. 93 in May. So well, I can tell so, you the date. Well, I mean, I just don't want someone to like. Google or do whatever online with all your stuff. So we, we don't want to mention the date. But in May, uh, we could come out here and do a uh, uh, maybe a birthday cake for you. Oh, what about that? Well, I'd like that. That'd be fun, right? Yeah, that'd be fun. I have a birthday cake here to heart for I'll you. I'll even share it with you. I'll, I'll, what kind <laughs> do you like? What's your favorite kind of cake? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, that's what we'll do for Miss Pat, guys. We'll have a little birthday party out here at the heart. Yes, it, yes, instead of being 92, I'll be 93. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll be 93 years young. 93 years old, yeah. And still driving. And still driving. Yep. Yeah. Did you drive any last couple of weeks when all that cold, cold? Yeah, I, I, I drove still a got little out? bit. Yeah, I drove a little bit. Uh -huh. oh, wow. Yeah. But not a lot. But, uh, my my driveway was was pretty well snowed in. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it got so cold and, and stuff, and you got a steep driveway anyway. So you're not going to believe this. I had a tree trimmed uh, yesterday, yeah. and uh, and then I had uh, t they finished it t today, and boy, you should see the way they were dressed mm -hmm. yesterday. They just had like sh heavy, you know, uh, shirts on. Yeah, but today they had. Coats and hats. <laughs> it got colder out again, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. I walked out earlier filming a little bit ago, the parking lot showing the, the size of the crowd here today, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it's dropped in temperature throughout today. It's gotten yeah, colder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah and, it's, and it's supposed to spit snow. So. Spit snow. Are we supposed to get any more cold weather next week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you be careful. Oh, I will. You know, don't go do anything crazy. I, I mean, I have to, you know, I have to stay around because there's still. <laughs> Antique, and, antique goodies for sale. That's right. <laughs> and you can't quit buying yet. We got a lot to sell you still. <laughs> I love Miss Pat. All right, guys, listen, uh, this was a quick a quick pop in by Pat. I'm going I'm to get her off here so she don't have to worry about you guys anymore. And Pat and I are going to hang out for a little bit. I love you. Love you. <laughs> so fun. Okay, so we just opened up a card. Show them the interior of this card, Miss Pat. That is so cool. Look it says, this. It Happy a, Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I gotta show them this real quick. Check it out. Happy Valentine's. Uh, someone sent that from Vermont. That is so cool, guys. This card that she has was sent by a company called Love Pop. And uh, because Pat doesn't have a return address on this, uh, she's just gonna say something nice to Grandma Joe. I just wanna say, Grandma Joe, thank you so much. The card is absolutely adorable. I yeah. love it. I love it. That's so cool. All right, perfect. And look at that pot. I don't know who made that, but that's gorgeous. It kind of looks like Newcomb or English, some sort of thing. I'm not sure what that is. Ken Tracy Pottery, 2017. 
a great coloring and work in there. And it's priced at $119. That I've never heard of that before, but that is absolutely stunning. And then you got the Gouda pot right beside it. We've got a bird. Let me take that out. The bird is a Viking bird at $69. The pot right here is priced out at $65. That should be Gouda, yep, Holland. Uh, the copper luster here in the back is really stunning. That one's priced at $175. Somebody's got some great taste. I love what they're buying here. Look at this guy, $69, mid-century horse. Great grouping. The bottles are priced at $98 and $115. Absolutely stunning grouping. Okay, I got these young guests here today and uh, we had an issue because we ran out of cookies and so they had to get candy bars, right? Like, so what kind of candy bar did you end up with? What do you? What do you I got a Hershey bar. A Hershey bar? Okay. What'd you get? Same? Yeah. Uh, both got Hershey's. Okay. Now, did you guys, are you shopping or are you just here to get Hershey bars? What um, are you thinking? I think my mom and dad might buy some stuff. They might stuff. buy some stuff? Cool. What are you guys looking for? Do you know? Um, I don't really know. Like some photos and stuff. Oh, do you like the old photos, the black and white ones? Yeah, okay, I got a secret cool. spot I can tell you to look. They're really inexpensive, They're like a dollar and two dollars each. I got a secret spot, I'll tell you where to go, okay? All right, what about you? What do you like to buy? Um, well, I did see a booth and it was like, me and my sister are getting in my room and there was fake plants and my sister was interested in that. Oh, that sounds fun. So fake plants for your new room, that's cool. All right, well guys, good luck and I'm gonna show you where the photos are, okay? Deal? All right, I'll show you where some good buys are. Pat back here in building six and Pat, yeah where did you used to work at Pat like where was your spot when you my were working my spot here? was about 20 feet down there with the table and believe it or not I had two bushel baskets yeah and and one was uh jewelry yeah that uh, I had to look at and separate yeah and, and sort put, it out and yeah. sort it out and put it over and then wrap it up and put it in the other one yeah. And then th th those bushel baskets would be worth something. Now. <laughs> well, there was a lot of jewelry you were sorting <laughs> back here. But yeah, so we're in the back in, in the, where the new auction is going to be. And Pat hasn't seen this yet. So we're going to take here uh, and show her our new new facility back here. Uh, what do you think, Miss Pat? Moly, this is going to be great. Yeah, that's what we think. We, we're excited about being back here. And uh, yeah. so this is all going to be showcases on this wall. Uh -huh showcases behind you we're still going to sell everything online so we won't have an in-house crowd but we'll actually have the capacity to hold our auctions here again instead of in what, donaldsville what year did your dad auction out here well we started here in this building in 97 well mm -hmm. in this facility at the other building we were over in yeah. building eight and 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 how old were you well that's uh i was 21 20 21 when we started really? out here really? yeah and then donaldsville we started in 80 something oh and then uh, FW started in Springfield in like the 50s. Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. So we got the got the whole big space right here. Um, we're still getting stuff done. There's still some final things happening. We have all, all of the infrastructure on technology coming in next week. Phone lines and phone systems are getting put in. And then we'll start setting it up. And, uh, it's oh. going to be a cool spot, though. Oh, this is really going to be great. Pat's getting ready to leave the Antique Center, guys. Uh, Pat, Pat, any last words to tell everybody? Yeah. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. <laughs> That's famous words, guys. Thanks for watching today at Burner Brothers. Uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our other YouTube channel. And make sure you comment. Uh, tell Miss Pat, tell Miss Pat what you think about her. I've been reading comments to her. Uh, and also, again, uh, like, like we want to hear from you. Uh, respond in our comment section. I always read all of them. And if I don't, if I don't respond in your comment, it's because I'm still thinking about it or I'm going to put it in a live video, the response. So uh, often I'll get a question that's like, I don't want to type out one or two little, you know, sentences about that. I want to just talk about it for a while. So uh, that's what I did with someone asking about why Florida. And so just make some comments down there. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, blessings to everybody. Thank you again.